Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. I'm just going to make a series of really short videos to show off some of the new kits that we have. Uh, I'll be selling these all in kit form and in module form, fully assembled at EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, they'll all go up in the next couple weeks. I made a video yesterday of something similar as a time bomb prop. This is merely a countdown timer that can count. Uh, you can set it to anywhere from uh, one second, or sorry, even zero seconds to 99 minutes and 59 seconds using one button. It's got relay control. You can pause it, you can reset it at any time, and you can even use it kind of as a paintball time bomb prop. And I'll show you that in a minute. There's a wire coming out at the back that has something to do with that. Anyway, to program it, each digit, you just toggle, you just press the uh, main button. Single, you know, single toggles will uh, increment. And uh, if you go past nine, it'll reset back to zero. Holding it will bring it to the next digit. This digit can only go up to uh, 5 before resetting back to 0. 59. So these are this is, these two digits are your seconds. Let's just program this to 30 minutes. The PIC uh, 18F1220 chip is using the 40 kilohertz internal oscillator. So it's pretty accurate. Uh, for every hour you lose a couple seconds, but really uh, it's nothing really to worry about. So I'll press the button again. Nothing on the screen. Press it one more time. And it starts counting down from 30 minutes. Now, there's uh, two power ports, 7 to 9 volts will power it, 7 to 10 volts will power it. Very low current, between 10 and 15 milliamps. When it's operating, when the relay's on, it goes up to about 70 milliamps. When the time elapses, relay will turn on. Right now, if I want to pause it, I just press the button once. Press it again to unpause it. And if I want to reset it, I just hold the select button. Now here's a neat feature too, is if I, on the back, there are a bunch of pins labeled ground, 5 volts, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, and those are I.O. ports. If I connect a 5 volt rail to, even just for a second, to rail uh, 1, I believe, oh, not rail 1, sorry, rail 4, it starts counting down much faster. <laughs> So this is just kind of a fun little thing you can do. You can interface this with your own project to turn this into a paintball time bomb prop and put a siren at the relay output. The relay output has three pins, uh, common, CO, uh, NO, normally open, and NC, normally closed. Uh, by default, when the relay is not on, common pin is connected to the normally closed pin. When the relay turns on, when this elapses, the uh, common pin will disconnect from the normally closed pin and connect to the normally open pin. Uh, and once this hits zero, uh, the relay turns on for a minimum of one second, and then you can turn it off and reset it by simply pressing the cell button. So when you speed it up, it is about 20 seconds. Now, I've got a bunch of other stuff to show you today. Um, I'm making a video of a little ultrasonic kit that I have. Um, I've also enhanced the Betty paintball time bomb prop, and I won't be making a video of that today, I don't think, because I've still got some work to do. Uh, but I've also got an LS7222 combination lock kit. So, relay turned on. You might not, you might, that, that click there was actually the relay turning off, because when you reset it, the relay turns off. And right now, with a steady current, of, uh, with a steady zero, we're consuming 15 milliamps. Uh, now, how this works is, I'm not going to keep boring you, but uh, how this works is uh, I'm controlling the four digits using four transistors and four I.O. ports on the pick, and I'm controlling each digit via uh, syncing, syncing power. I'm not sourcing power. These are common anode. So when uh, the, one of these transistors are activated, it applies power to the relative digits. And I'm turning them on and off and on and off hundreds of times a second. So these are actually turning on and off and being updated with new information, new bit information from the microcontroller. This is called multiplexing. So this took me about an afternoon to program. I'm still piddling around with it, but it's very I've got it to about as accurate as I can get it. You can use a 9-volt DC adapter, or you can just plug in uh, via the 2-pin terminal block. Anyhow, I've yammered on enough. Let me just quickly show you a reset. If I hold this button down, again, if I toggle it, quick pause, and starts up again. If I want to reset it, I simply hold it and let go, and it resets. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Check us out at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Just one more FYI, I will be making a paint bomb, uh, paint bomb electronic prop website this summer. So stay tuned for more on that if you'd like to play paintball or airsoft. Take care and thanks for watching, everyone.